I've recently received a few different dreams from clients in which President Trump appeared. These two dreams are a terrific example for me to illustrate how the images we choose in a dream are as unique to each of us as our fingerprint. In order for me to understand each dreamer's unique opinion, before recounting their dream, I asked each to describe their feelings or thoughts about him. The first dreamer replied, I've always been scared to admit I support him. He speaks up and out about what he feels needs to be said. And even though he's not perfect, I still love the guy and support him all the way. He's a fierce supporter of his children. Also, I think he had a brother who was an alcoholic. Here's this dreamer's dream. He said, I'm climbing up a high cliff with Trump. I'm sure we're going to make it to the top. I was feeling worried and a little dizzy, but finally we made it. We were looking over the wide view. When it was time to go back down, I couldn't move. In the dream, I am frozen in fear and I simply can't see a way. Looking at the plot and the action in the dream, I asked, what situation did you recently begin feeling confident about achieving and now you're worried about? Is it getting out of some situation or are you worried about going back on something? He responded immediately. Our daughter is pregnant, and at first she had stopped smoking marijuana, but recently she started it up again and is taking a puff every now and then. I'm okay about it. I support her, but my wife would definitely not, so I've been keeping it to myself. I've been feeling more and more uncomfortable about hiding it from her. Even though my wife won't support her decision, I'd like to come clean. So the appearance of President Trump in his dream captures not only a symbol of what Kevin keeps to himself, but at the same time, it serves as a metaphor for his wife, who he knows won't approve of the marijuana smoking. The coming clean is a beautiful play on words that ties right into the discussion of drug use. Now that Kevin caught the current situation he was attempting to problem solve, we looked for the solution. Kevin realized Trump's appearance represents that characteristic he has inside himself and that he wants to access, that part that can speak up and out about what he feels needs to be said. So in this case, President Trump is the solution to the dream. As you will see in her description of her dream, feelings and associations to Trump are completely the opposite of Kevin's. She recalled her dream saying, I keep dreaming that I'm having an affair with President Trump. The problem is I cannot stand him. I hate his looks, his political position, his body, and even his attitude. Why do I keep dreaming about him? And I asked, are you making love with him in the dream? No, she said, I'm in bed with him, but I'm never making love or I'll get a call from him and I have to meet him somewhere. Th the thing is that I have to go since I'm having an affair, but I do not want to. Looking at the action in the dream, I asked, is something happening in your life where you have to be with someone or go somewhere that you really don't want to? Finding the waking situation her dreams are mirroring was immediate. I'm in love with this man and I'd like to get married, but it's his father. I can't stand him. How am I going to do this knowing that I have to spend the rest of my life confronted with his dad? Building on his connection, I added, so now we understand President Trump's continued appearance in your dreams of late. You feel the same way about your boyfriend's dad as you do about Trump. He added, and I have to deal with President Trump even more than with my boyfriend's father. I'm a newspaper editor in New York, and he is in my face all the time. 
always searching for possible solutions a dream presents, I offered, so if you marry this man, you're essentially going to be in bed with your father-in-law, just like you're in bed with Trump in your dreams. Once I understand the current problem a dreamer is facing, one of my favorite solution-finding methods is to adopt the dream as a waking fact. And I asked her, you say that Trump is in your face all the time. How do you manage to cover him? Her response revealed how the dream points her towards the solution. Well, she confessed, I just ignore the fact that he's there. That's how I cope. I ignore. I compartmentalize. She realized she need not let her fiancé's father keep her from getting married, just like she doesn't let Trump prevent her from doing her job as a news editor. She must learn to ignore and compartmentalize her father-in-law the exact same way she goes about succeeding at her work.